Golf's longest day has lived up to the height. I'm Steven Hanjack for Mass Golf, and after 36 holes plus two playoff holes, both Fran Quinn and Michael Thor Bjornsson have advanced to the U.S. Open. Uh, I'm just relieved, exhausted. Um, uh, I can't really put into words um, like how I'm feeling right now. Uh, on the course, I was, uh, I think, on my second 18. I was playing well, playing well the whole day, and then. Unfortunately, ran into two um, two bogeys in a row at the end of my round, and kind of felt two under was that's not even going to make a playoff. But um, so we pa we packed the clubs in the car, and we're going to get some food. But then saw the leaderboard change, and it, it's kind of crazy how I'm in this position right now. And yeah, I've been waiting for this U.S. Open for many years. I think as it might have even been like 10 years ago when they first announced it. I'm thinking, oh, 10 years I'm going to play here hopefully professional or amateur, whatever it may be, but this is probably like the most excited I've been for any tournament, uh, especially going into this qualifier. That's all I've been thinking about for this summer, and I'm just really, really excited that I finally got to this point, and now I'm able to play in it in a week and a half. Oh, I mean, it's kind of a dream come true to be able to come back and, and play a U.S. Open in your home state. Um, last time I, you know, I played a tournament there, um, I got beaten in the finals of the state and by Kevin Johnson, one of my good buddies. And so it's really, um, it's, it's really rewarding. And considering, I mean, I'm 57 years old, have an opportunity to go out and compete against the best in the world one last time, well, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Early in, the, in regulation, I, I smashed two just up short of the green, so, and I had a very difficult pitch. Um, the second time, I mean, I, it was just, it's a long day out there, my back locked up there, and I hung it right off the tee on the second playoff hole, and I was able to lay it up into a really good spot, so I had a great number, and knowing how tight it was, I mean, I had to, I mean, I basically had to hit a perfect shot, and I was fortunate enough to do it. Well, I'm leaving uh, tomorrow morning for Wisconsin. I'm playing Steve Stricker's tournament out there on the Champions Tour, back to my people, and then I'll be uh, back in, uh, probably get back in Monday night and play a practice round and go get after it. That'll do it here from New York. Be sure to follow us all next week as we give you behind the scenes coverage from the U.S. Open.